Everybody wants to have money. However, very few people actually really want to work for it. I have a very simple clue to make sure that you get money for free. <laughs> you can always find money in the dictionary. The word is almost always there. <laughs> in order to have a successful and happy retirement, I encourage investing your money now. There's not, you cannot start soon enough investing your money. As the son of Vice President of Zach's Investments Management, current Forest and State Bank customer service representative, current Highland Business Administration student, and after doing extensive research on the investment topic, I feel qualified today to give you this speech. First, I will show you how you can invest your money in assets, then investing your money through the banks, and last, investing your money through the stock market. First, I will invest talking to you about investing your money in property. There are many ways you can invest your money in property, whether it be as a landlord or flipping houses. However, today I like to focus on currency, so gold and silver investing. Remember the golden rule, those who have gold rule. Before you buy, make sure you research your seller. If you have a reputable seller, that's what will make your gold more worth more in the end. If this gold is very cheap at first, it's probably fake, so make sure it's, it's about the same as um, the rest of the prices in the market. You want to choose whether you want a design on your gold or silver or a standard just gold bar or silver coin. You probably want a standard gold bar or coin because the designs can sometimes go out of style and you, don't, you can't really predict what styles will go in and out. You want to make sure you store your items in a safe spot. Since they're so easy to steal and oftentimes um, can be very valuable, if it, you would think a friend wouldn't steal from you, but you never know. These can be very safe investments as they can they normally just steadily grow forward, but sometimes they can regress and turn into a, a, a loss, but not very often. Investing in, in banks can be the safest possible way to invest your money. I know you're, you're just thinking I'm saying that because I work at a bank, but it's really the truth. However, that doesn't mean it's the best way to invest your money. Everybody in this room is investing their money probably right now through a savings account. However, savings accounts are probably the worst way to invest your money. They really just get you 1% interest and it doesn't even help you out. Um, the best interest you can get is from Discover right now, which is like 1.9% interest. And that's from a, like a national online bank only. You can only make six withdrawals with a savings account per monthly bill cycle. And if you ever have an average balance of over $3,000, you're probably better switching to a money market account. A money market account is basically a savings account, but on steroids. With a money market account, you basically follow the same rules of a savings account. You can only use six with six transactions, but you're going to get a higher annual percentage yield, normally around 2.1%. But you must keep $2,500 in that account. But you can take um, withdraw using checks, which is sometimes very valuable for some people. Lastly, a, the safest way of investing your money through banks is the certificate of deposit. According to Forrest and State Bank, this is always the safest way to invest your money. First, what you do is you just basically walk into a bank and you agree and negotiate to terms with a teller or some other bank representative. It'll be like 15 month CD with 2.1 annual percentage yield. You can never withdraw the initial deposit. So if you need that money, it's probably not the best. Because if you need it to pay bills, you cannot withdraw without incurring a penalty. However, after the end of the first term, you can uh, withdraw that earnings or you can just close that account and then have all that money after your initial term. According to NerdWallet, for people who are not risky with a lot of money, the certificate of deposit is the best way to invest your money. However, the most common way to invest your money is the stock market. God really just created a um, stock analyst just to make weathermen look good. Because this is the <laughs> hardest thing to predict. Which makes my job here, trying to give a speech on how to invest in the stock market, that much harder. However, I'll just tell you how to invest, but not what to invest in. Because you cannot tell someone because it'll change tomorrow when they go to invest. What you want to do is you want to visit an investment research website. For example, my dad's company, Zach's Investments Research, has what they call their Zach's Rank. It's their top 10 stocks, and then they also have their top 10 worst stocks in almost every industry. Currently, the worst stock in their Zach's Rank is the movie theaters. With Netflix, Hulu, and other um, streaming devices, movie theaters are continuing to go down, and Zach's predicts it to continue that way as well. 
advisors will almost tell you all the time to just stay in the market. For example, my dad, vice president of Zach's Investments Management, says it's always good to be in the market because at only at some point do you want to sell. My dad says the best time to sell when, when you're making a profit is 20%. However, when you're losing a profit, the best time is 7%. So when you, once you get down to 7%, you want to sell because you're not going to be getting any more money. But at 20%, it's a great time to just take your profits and run. Another way you can set up with a money manager is a mutual fund. Mutual funds are um, a way to diversify your portfolio on many levels. A lot of times, a mutual fund will actually incorporate um, investing your money through a bank and in the stock market. So it'll make sure that you have some returns, but it also gives you a riskier side of things to ensure that you're still trying to be aggressive with your money. You want to really find a uh, money manager who's going to be taking your time with you. Um, so this is pretty much high risk, high reward, and normally encouraged for people that have a lot of money. All in all, investing your money now, as we are college students, is the best time to invest your money. Because every day you wait, you're, you're wasting interest. You're wasting precious money. So don't just try to invest in one, but you could invest in all. You could invest in property, you could invest in local banks, and you could invest in the stock market. So after listening to today's speech, I bet you still probably don't know what the best way to invest your money is. But my personal advice, invest in booze. It's the only place you'll get 40%. <laughs>